This week, Black Rooster Audio released their newest plugin, the second in their Kuhn Heldon signature series, this time an EQ called KHEQ1. This is also their second plugin release this year after their RO140 plate reverb that dropped back in January and got an easy five stars from me. Uh, will this new signature plugin be another banger for your home studio plugin arsenal? Well, let's find out in my review. All right, so let's start off with a quick tour of KHEQ1. If you're familiar with the last Kuhn Heldon signature plugin, KH Comp One, you'll recognize the same bluish gray camouflage paint job, the rack mount look, uh, the silvered knobs, the same yellow backlit VU meter, and the yellow LEDs completing the look here. Uh, you can see that clicking any of these yellow LEDs uh, turns either the power on or the individual bands on and off. And you can also turn off the auto listen on and off. Plus, you can switch between in and out on the VU. So there's a gain, a frequency, and a saturation for each individual channel, plus a blendable mids side. So you either have mid or side or stereo, or you can actually blend between them. Uh, and there's also the obligatory input and output gains. Looks cool, it's unique, and everything is laid out logically from left to right. So Easy five stars in the looks department. Now let's dig into the features and see how it sounds. Okay, I have KHEQ1 loaded up on my master chain of the test track uh, before the mastering comp and the limiter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see how it works at sweetening the final output of my track. So I've got it set to stereo. Let's go ahead and hear how the track sounds without KHEQ1 at all. Okay, now, so let's go ahead and turn it on, and then we're gonna go left to right, just making some tweaks, okay? Um, so we're gonna make sure that the auto listen is turned on, and then I'm gonna start the track playing. And then as you can hear, sweeping the frequency while the auto listen is engaged applies a cut to the other frequency, so we can hear where the cut or the boost will occur on the input signal. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna Play with this low. See if I can find that kick. All right. I'm just gonna give the kick just a touch of beef. All right. Now moving up to our low mid. Let's cut out just a little bit of mud. Alright, so next we have our mids. I'm gonna find where that guitar is. Alright. I'm gonna see if we can give it just a little more crunch than it's already got. Now I'm going to find that snare in the high mid. And then beef that snare up just a little bit. With a little bit of punch. All right. And now let's go hunting for the hi-hats. Crunch those up just a little bit too. And I'm gonna cut this dry wet down just a touch. Take out some of that extra crunch. All right. Now let's do a quick AB to hear the difference. Kind of like sitting in the optometrist's chair, you know? <laughs> better one or better two?
definitely better too. <laughs> so in terms of features, KHEQ1 is an easy five out of five. Five very usable bands with an auto listen plus the mid side or stereo operation. That would be enough for five stars for me. But then you add in the individual saturation controls and that just knocks this out of the park. For usability, I also have to go with a solid five stars as well. I just can't say enough about that auto listen feature. Uh, it really makes dialing in the perfect frequency curve absolute child's play. And the ability to saturate just one frequency range, maybe just a, a snare or a synth lead while leaving the other bands just to shape the overall tone is a real winner. I would love in a future version to see the mid side operation work in one instance of the plugin, uh, or as it's, you know, as it stands, you have to load in two instances for a mid side pair, which is fine. Uh, but maybe, you know, like, uh, a dockable window or something like that. So you have one less window to juggle. I don't know. Uh, but overall five stars for usability. And finally we have value. When I got the email from black rooster, letting me know they were dropping a new plugin, I'll admit I was a little worried about having to sink another hundred bucks or so into plugins right before Mother's Day, <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised uh, to a very low retail price for KHEQ1. Paired with all of those features I mentioned, it's another easy five stars for value, bringing this review to a close with a five star overall rating for KHEQ1. Demo it, try it out. I promise you're going to want it in your arsenal for masters, buses, individual tracks. Wherever you want to shape and color your tone, this plugin has got you. <laughs> and they are also running an intro sale, so be sure to check that out. Uh, and if you're watching this video after the sale is over, never fear, they've set up a special 10% promo code just for Home Studio Today viewers. HST10. That code works for all of their plugins in their entire store. So remember, HST10 at checkout to get 10% off your whole purchase. If you want to learn how to set up a home studio just like this one, check out the link in the description below for a free guide that I put together just for you. So thanks for watching and have a great day in your home studio today.